wings report in. Red leader standing by. So I heard that the place we need to be is somewhere around here. Did you see a dog out there? Uh. N no. I've seen some wolves, but no, I haven't seen a dog. Oh well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Watch the skies, traveler. A missing dog? It ain't true what they say about you and, and the dark brotherhood. Is it? Best you just leave that alone, buddy. Fighting dragons, and what do I get? Guard duty. Fighting dragons isn't that big a deal. It's a lot more dangerous. Then again, you're a Nord, so. Hey, I heard that you're looking for a dog. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. No, but the guard at the gate mentioned it. I asked the gate guards to look for him. I can't afford to chase him down, but could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Uh, sure. Yeah, I, I can. I can try to catch him for you. I got nothing else going on. Good. There's some gold in it for you if you succeed. Here's the meat. Check the road just outside of town. Somehow he was pushing it whenever it was going up, and it was then letting go when it was going down. You people are a strange. And wondrous people. Now, where could this dog be? Oh, you what? are exactly what I was looking for. Well, I've seen Roach talk, but, uh, yeah, uh, did, uh, did you just talk? Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. And you're surprised by me? You got a yeah, point. I talk, and I'm continuing to do so. You see, my name is Bobbitt. And I have a problem I think you can help sort out. Uh, sure. What, what do you need? My master and I had a, a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather <laughs> heated. He's kicking me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Okay. Yeah, I can... Uh, I think I can do that. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know Vile. there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shane. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. Hey, just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? Uh, yeah, sure. So, uh, how far is this place, if you don't mind me asking? Nope. Okay, then. So, but, so, Benhard, did you think that you'd be traveling with a talking dog today? Although, I guess you make sense. I mean, we live in a world where... There's talking to the like, cat men, talking lizards, giant flying, what your people call, dragons. So I guess a talking dog it isn't, isn't exactly the uh, weirdest thing out here. Yeah. 
<sighs> I knew it wasn't gonna be as easy as this. Of course, should have known there'd be bandits in here. Oh, a vampire! Sorry, Barbus. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I win, you're still alive, so... Yeah. Come on, Benar. Hey, Benar, what happened to that freaking fire stuff I gave you? Yeah, I can still see you. Gods, no. God, yes. What the? So is your master like the Lord of the Vampires or something? Because there's a lot of vampires here. Oh no, you do not. And you thought I was a face. No, I don't think you're pretty at all. In fact, I think you're pretty ugly. Thank you. Okay, if I had to guess, we go this way. Hello? Sorry, I know you're just a thrall, but... Gotta kill you anyway. Good job with that one. And I got you. Okay, you know what, Benor, how about you get down here and help me? I guess I'll be taking those. Uh, nothing else of worth here. Okay, stay on your guard. Who knows if there's more of these fuckers in here? Oh, we got spiders! Oh. You know what? I take it back. Getting back to vampires. I'd rather fight those freaking things than spiders. And we got coffins. And a bloody table. And a bookshelf. And fire. And rocks. And more fire. More fire. Snow. Rocks. Water. Hey, Benar, you want to get over here and help me? Barbus, move. Barbus, move. Barbus! Barbus! Okay, since y'all want to just trap me right here, I guess I'm fine. This guy. No, my best is being able to move, but they don't let me. I always find it funny that they're able to talk after I cut their head off. Well. That's... that's... wow. 
You can say that again. Um, I have a request for you. By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Well, uh, uh, I'm here to reunite you with, uh, Barbus. Ah, oh, that insufferable pup. Forget it. Request denied. No deal. I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine in the back end of nowhere well perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side maybe but no promises okay so what's the offer there's an axe an incredibly powerful axe an axe Powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. Is it worth it? If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Brine Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. Okay, Barbus, uh, we're going to... Guess we're going to get an axe. Okay, then. Oh, you do know how to keep up. Ugh. <sighs> Why is it every time I turn around, you two are never there? Well, whoa. Huh. Well, she was easier to beat than I thought she was. Wait, is... Whoa! Hello, Sebastian Wood. So this is it? Like... Huh. I thought there'd be more to this. Yes, Bonar, he's dead. Don't mourn him, he attacked us. Okay, so, uh, let's... Go back to Vile and give him his axe. Honestly, the axe doesn't look all that powerful anyway. Uh, Vile? Ah, you've got the axe! And my dog! Splendid! Yeah, so... Now that I got your axe... Uh, now you can fulfill your end of the bargain. Excellent work! A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost... storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a nice axe, but not really one I would use. I mean, I, I mean, heck, my my regular axe does r great damage. Oh, wait a second! There, there's another option here. Okay, so I've been thinking it over. And? I'm not gonna kill Barbus. Personally, if it was a normal axe, maybe. But I'm not too big on two-handed weapons. Huh. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me. I can trust you. Yeah, yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic axe. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, mutt. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you, now you trust me. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm. Or maybe a few decades of... Uh... Uh, oh, fine. Have my boon and be done with it. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. I'm guessing here. He said to have his boon. What, what did he mean by that? Did I... Did he... Oh, he gave me a helmet. Huh. I must say, it actually fits very well. Huh. Well, we reunited a uh, Daedra with his dog. Hopefully our next adventure won't be uh, as uh, weird. But alright, that is going to be it for this episode, which means we are now at the Dover Word of the Day. And today's Dover Word of the Day is Orgin, meaning reunite. Figured it would fit good with reuniting the dog with the... with... what's his... with Vile. And... Yeah, I'm trying to keep the words uh, more relevant to an episode. And it is spelt O-R-G-E-I-N. Orgeen Reunite. So I wanted to ask y'all real quick. I've been seeing a lot about uh, Subnautica. Like with the DLC or the Subnautica 2 coming out. Whichever it is, I think it's a DLC. And I've been thinking, would y'all want me to do a series on the first Subnautica game? Because I, I was thinking of doing one. Because, honestly, I'm terrified of the ocean. Like, really terrified. So I figured it might be good for some laughs. Like, there would be short episodes like this. But I just don't know. Like, if I would, I would probably take like a hiatus from Skyrim. Or I would maybe do like a Skyrim episode one week, Subnautica the next. I don't know. Like, by all means, let me know if y'all would like that. And I'll see what I'll do. I, I'll see what I can do. Like, try to decide on something. But anyway, 
that is going to be it for this episode. So, with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I'd like to subscribe, leave a like, and as always, please leave me a comment down below. Because the comments are the only way I can improve these, and I love chat with y'all. Now, if you want to chat with me directly or check out updates on the channel, check me out on Twitter at AntoThisGaming. And, with all that being said, I will see all of you in the next episode.